And it's strange that each of those three big pillars of physics uh, describes time in a different way. So, so quantum mechanics, like Newtonian mechanics, mm -hmm. in fact, uh, you know, classical uh, mechanics that we learn at school, regards time simply as a label, as a parameter. It's called coordinate time. So it's basically, here's an equation that describes how something changes. Uh, I can work out what its state is at a particular moment. Then if I change that t in the equation, t for time, to some other value, yep. I can crank the handle and work out what that system's doing at that later time or at an earlier time. That's all time is. It's just a parameter that goes into an equation. General relativity says, no, time isn't just a number. Time is a dimension. It's part of the fabric of four-dimensional space-time. It's a real thing. In fact, it's, you know, all times coexist. And then thermodynamics says, no, time isn't a dimension. It's not a number. It's an arrow. It's a direction pointing yes. from past to future in the direction of increasing 